change the order, then you can actually drag the missing disk around and figure out what order it's supposed to be in to actually put it where it belongs. And now I'm off the screen. Way off the screen. They told me they were 1024. Okay, so I'm doing a RAID 5 array, and so now, sorry about this kind of thing. I actually tested this in the back with the same projector. They said this is what it was going to do. Can't see all my boxes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and check this box that says apply changes immediately. Every time I actually change it, it's going to actually dynamically uh, change them physically in the drives. So this is what my order looks like. And so I have a RAID 5. I'm going to leave it at its default, which is almost always 64K. And then you'll actually see that you have all those alternatives that I actually talked about right here. But we're going to test this array, and we're going to find out what it is that we actually have. So after I've added them to the array, I'm going to come back over here to my other box. It'd be helpful if they used the same exact projector. So now you'll see I actually have my virtual array, and then I've got my partition, my first partition. What I want to do is I want to scan for JPEGs. So I don't care about any of this other stuff. So I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say scan for JPEGs. So I get a box that actually asks me. I know which OS it is because it already gave me identifying information. So I'm going to throw away all the other OSs to make it faster. I'm just going to do NTFS. There's all these other things that most of the tools, if you actually use a scanning tool that goes and scans for stuff, you need to deselect all this other crap. We don't need anything else except JPEGs. So I would actually just go down to graphics, and I would actually just go down and select JPEGs, add them to the table. That's all I care about to find out. And we're only testing this. We're not trying to waste 75 hours scanning the drive to figure out what I got. That's what most of the tools do. So we want to do it faster than that. I'm going to leave detailed view on because there's a unique thing that our studios can do that most of the others can't do while they're scanning, and that's let you look at data. So right now, as it's going across and it's scanning, if you hover over the ones that are color, they'll tell you three of the files that I've picked are, are coming up in this block. And as you keep going, they'll tell you specific documents. You can click on them, and it'll give you a little box that says, well, what kind of files did I find? And even better than that, I can click on the file, and I, what I want to know, is this a false positive? That's what I care about in this whole thing, except that now it's off the screen and I can't see it. So, anybody think that this is a false positive? Right, so I've got data here that actually matters to me. Well, I did that and it doesn't... Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. <laughs> no! <laughs> so we added 55 minutes to the presentation in our process here. So it's all to do with resolution of the... They have this projector in the back, and I tried all this, and they said, this is the one you're going to be using. Oh, really? <sighs> That's the last time I listened to somebody in the... You know, enough crap goes wrong with demos, we don't need to be adding to it. <laughs> God dang it. Yeah. You know what it is? It's all these damn porn pictures I got on the thing. God dang it. Yeah, demo fail. It wouldn't have been. It'd have been fine. All right, hang on. <sighs> All right, maybe. All right. Cool. All right, so uh, this is not a... Now I still have the same problem I had before. Now it may be worse because I can't get to the corner, at least before I had that. <sighs> Yay. Okay. X. So it is not a... 
Now, we're going we're gonna to stop it. We don't need it to continue on scanning, so we're going to go ahead and stop it because I don't care about any of this other stuff. All I want to know is I actually got a JPEG and that I actually have something that's not a false positive. So I'm going to go look at the file I actually have. So I can actually go down in here and I can say, well, I'm going to click on one. Now, this one says it's about 50K. So now if you look at it, you'll actually see, hey, this must have been a really, really large picture. And so that 50K is like way wrong, but I've got a stripe there. And I can do the same thing I said before where I can actually go and say, oh, I'm going to go recover my actual picture and try to figure out what size it's supposed to be. So you can go and actually just save it out and save out your thumbnail or whatever else you're going to look at. Go look at your thumbnails. So now this is the picture. This is actually what I'm going to save. So I can actually do, and but you know from the size that we're looking at approximately a 2 meg picture. And so if I click on it, then this is what I'm going to get. So if that's 2 megs, if that's 2 megs and you're actually looking at this, you're probably looking at, again, uh, is not going to be a 64K slice size. That's probably what the 64K is because that's what we asked for. So we've got two stripes together. So half of that is 32K. Right. So that'll tell you right off the bat that you can actually tell just from, from that content. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this. I'm going to delete this, uh, the scan that I just did because I don't care about it anymore. I'm going to go back to my RAID array, and now I'm going to make my changes to, hey, I'm getting good at this. So I'm going to make my changes. I'm going to go ahead and set it at 32K, which is what it looked like visually to me that it might be. So then I come back, and I do the same kind of thing. I can go to the partition. I can scan. And if I leave it the same, it's going to be all the same details I already did. Give me a couple of JPEGs, blah, blah, blah. See if I have one that's not a false positive. Not a false positive. Same kind of thing I did before. Close that. And we're going to stop again. Go ahead and look at the same things. We're going to look at our file itself. Go into the files. Okay. So now if you look at the picture, it's a little dark on the screen, but if you look, you start to have some contiguous stuff. Does this actually look like it probably belongs to the same picture? Yeah, like this piece move over, that piece move over. Okay, so we know we probably have that, but we have a wrong arrangement. They look like they belong to the same picture. So let's delete that. Let's go look at our arrangement. So we were using this arrangement, which is standard, so that's the first one. Most RAID arrays do not use, or at least most of the ones I'm dealing with, are not using write, and as and, uh, write asynchronous and synchronous. So our second choice is going to be continuous which is the rotation in the other side. So now you can actually go back and do the same exact thing again. Scan. Go ahead. For the sake of time, I'm going to skip trying to do the, do I have a false positive? And I'm going to go look at it. Look at my pictures. Look at the array. And it's the same thing. You just keep rotating through them. The other thing that uh, you can do really quickly if you wanted to to try to figure things out, especially in this tool, is that there's an option for, like, taking a partition. Let's say I went back and I, like, munged it up again. Let's say I go back and I say, oh, look, uh, it's a 64K and I got something out of order again. You can, you can do a couple of quick things by sight if you just know directory structures anyway. So if you actually said, hey, I'm just going to delete on the – I'm going to look at the partition and see what files it says I have. Well, it's pretty not supposed to have. You've got things that are missing. You're missing your files, your windows, things like that. As you rotate through the others, you can actually start selecting just variations on directories. When you get the right one, it's going to be obvious. You're going to have a documents and settings that actually has folders in it that are going to work correctly. So you can step through all those. So, so demo fail work. How about that? All right, so... And that's it. There you go.